Gary? Yeah, there you go. It don't matter, get him. That's a buzzbait fish right there. It don't matter. Oh, he got off. I'm going to count that one, Kevin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine. This morning, I have my youngest son, Kevin Gene, the fishing machine. We're going to do a little bass fishing here on Lake Gunnersville. Right now, it's cloudy. It's windy. It looks like it's going to rain. In fact, this evening, I believe they're giving some thunderstorms. But we're going to do a little top water fishing and maybe some triple fluke rig fishing. That's right, triple fluke rig fishing. And uh, I believe we're going to start with top waters right now, Kevin. We'll just stay right in here that we're going to see. We're going to see what the weather's going to do. Cross your fingers. Let's see if we can catch a few of these bass. Let's see what we can do. We're just going to make a cast right here. Whopper ploppers. Oh, my goodness. They catch a lot of fish all the way across the country. And just a steady wane usually gets the job done. Just steady Eddie. Like that. Sometimes you can pause it and then start it back. But usually, a slow, steady reel, I catch them. And when they hit a whopper plopper, Kevin, they hit it. It's about like flushing a commode on a bait. There'll be no doubt about it. But when he hits it, hesitate just a couple seconds before you set the hook. Don't set it on the splash. If you set it on the splash, you'll miss that fish almost every time. Now we're using totally different outfits right here. I'm using a seven foot all-star rod. It's an old one. This rod's about 20 something years old. And we got a whopper plopper up in the tree. That's a good casting outfit right there, ain't it? And I'm using an old pinnacle reel real quick it's a seven seven and one gear ratio i think this is a black one right here and let's see what it's the 90f i guess that's the number of the bait and then kevin's got a white one on a bone color we're going to throw two different colors and see what they're going to react to or if they will react to it if they don't we're going to get on some grass and throw a double fluke i mean a triple fluke rig <laughs> You're a squirrel fishing this morning, son. Oh, we don't we don't fish with junk right here. It's good stuff right here. And Kevin's using a seven foot cadence spinning rod. I don't think you can throw a bait caster too good, can you? And uh, he's using twenty pound test Power Pro, and I have a leader right there for him. And the thing about a whopper plopper too, I want to point out. Let's make a cast with it. Whoops. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, folks, you got to be patient sometimes. You got to be very, very patient. <laughs> we'll edit that out. But what you got to do is make a, make a cast. And on a whopper plopper, if you hold the rod down, a lot of times the bait will twist like this right here, which ain't a bad thing. But if you'll hold that rod up like that, it'll come through there without twisting. Just hold it up about like that. I'm surprised about that. There he is. And we got him. You talking about a little fish hammering the bait. I knew that tree had a fish on it. But I had to make multiple casts, folks. You can't just make one or two at it. Let's put him in the boat right here. He ain't very big. But it could have been. Now, these whopper ploppers right here, like I said, will get you. They'll get you bad. And it's usually the back hook right here. If they sling their face a certain way, it will bury up in, in you. So y'all be careful about that. Well, Kevin, that ain't no five-pounder, but he hit like one. And we missed one right back there, about four, four trees back. 
that hit it short so they're not really on these top waters real good right now but they are responding to them a little bit quiet ah, multiple casts though I made what four or five casts on that tree and that little fish hit let's let him go right here that ain't what we're after but that's good enough he's a fish he did react that's the main thing <laughs> he tried to jump, didn't he? But it's these shallow trees that we're fishing right now. And that fish couldn't have been over in all two foot of water. And the reason why he's up there is kind of this weather. If they ever jump up shallow like this, which they have, this is an excellent way to... There's something following my bait right there. I don't know what it was. It's little... Excellent way to the fish, folks. You can cover a lot of water and do it quick. My goodness. Oh! got it. Why am I cut? That was about a five pounder. Woo! They're hitting it short. Why didn't I stick that fish? That was a good fish. Daggone! I can't do that no more. I got to put them in the boat. That was a big fish, Kevin. Dead gone. That was a five pound fish. Oh. What's the deal here? My goodness. There's another. Well, I got the little one, folks, and I lost one right over there that hit. It's about five pounds. We're going to take what we can get, though. Dad, gone it, Kevin. That's a big one, wasn't it? They're kind of hitting short. <laughs> For some reason. Ah, quit, quit. Got to be real careful with these hooks. They're chewing right now. Dad, gone it. And I'm up in these logs and got him hooked up everywhere. I caught the little one and lost the big one. Let's let him go, folks. They are eating it right now. And this is the kind of bait right here. Let's make a cast with it. You can envision in your mind when it goes by an object like this one that you're going to get a bite. Every time I make a cast, I have confidence. I'm going to catch one whether I do or not. I'm going to ease on out here and fish some of this isolated stuff that's on this flat. This flat's not but about two feet deep, folks. And these fish hadn't been off spawn very long. That one I missed back there is a big female fish. On these flats, they'll relate to stuff like that right there. Just big old logs in the water, anything they can get around. And that's what happened back there. That fish was just using that tree as an ambush point. There's another one right there. We got that one. Small one. Why couldn't you have been about a 10 pounder there, boy? Well, that's the reality of fishing. Quit. That's a little male fish right there. I knew that just about every one of these on this flat, like a two foot flat, is holding a fish of some sort. Another little one right there. Ow! See how sticky them hooks are, folks? Look at there. Let's let him go right there. Going back, bass fish. Sometimes they'll hold two. You don't never know. And the reason why these fish are holding on this kind of stuff is because there's nothing out here. It's just sand right here. That's the only thing they have to relate to right here in this particular area. Oh, my, 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 my. I don't know if that was a gar or a bass. Let's run it back through there again. Where is that fish at? Could he be on that side of the tree? Oh, no. There he is. 
there he is. I knew he was there, but I didn't. I had to dissect that tree. Another small one, but that took about six or seven casts dissecting that tree before I could finally lower the boom on him. Looks like he's got some pine straw in his mouth. He's been eating pine straw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, folks. Ah. I tell you, ever since I hooked into that joint, I've been scared. Ah. Not very big, but we're catching them. Let's let him go right here. Multiple cast. Go on back in there. There's going to be a big and blow up here before we know it. They can't all be little, Kevin. You'll probably be the one that's going to catch that big one. My, 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 my. Let's look at this thing right here. Oh, my goodness. That is a heck of a rain right there. That one might get us, and it may not. I've seen them come across like this and not hardly touch you, then I have seen them eat you alive. There he is. He come off that piece of cover. Y'all see that? This is a little bit better fish right here. This is more like it. We've been catching a lot of small ones. Look here. My, my. And that fish is flat pulling, folks. There we go. There's a little bit better fish right there. I mean, he nailed it when he nailed it. When he made his mind up to hit it, he did. There we go. That's a little bit better. We've been having a lot of trouble right here. You know, picking your days or conditions is really important out here fishing. And today, the weatherman said, what, Kevin said it was going to be cloudy all day? Yeah, it's Said it was going to rain, and it didn't. Just a little bitty. But most of the day, it's been sunny. And I wanted to make y'all a topwater video. So we've been counting on a little bit of overcast here and there. And it got when it got overcast, bingo, that fish hit. It makes a big difference. Topwater bites are real fractious. All right. Let's let her go right here. That was a vicious strike there, gal, and I appreciate that. Go on back. Oh, calling it. Woo! I'm talking about. Woo! Well, folks, I had a great time out here fishing with my son. It's been a long time since we've been fishing. Um, he got murdered, and he's having to work real hard right now to make a living. And uh, I tell you what, he's quite a boy. Never give me, or man, never give me a bit of trouble. I want to say thank y'all very much for all the great comments, everything you do for this channel. And yeah, we're fixing to leave. There's a bad thundery storm coming, so that's the reason why. If it went for that, I'd catch a big fish. Mm. But um, we caught a few. And that's all that counts, getting out here and enjoying the day. I want to thank y'all very much for the great comments, everything y'all do. Woo! Kick the left foot going in front of the right one. Woo. Dog gone. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good.